Yo, what is good everybody? Articulated Ninja here. I am excited. The company did not send me this. I paid extra because it started to come out in other countries to get it as fast as I possibly can. I always wanted a badass werewolf action figure in my collection. And this figure for me looks like it can possibly be the best of all time. Let me show you guys why I already feel like this is going to be the best figure of 2020. Three. The company is called Maestro Union and the action figure is called Veteran William. He is a game changer in the field of animal action figures. Well, you have been a small tribe from the beginning. But we have always had magic in our blood. We were great spirit warriors, shapeshifters that transformed to the powerful wolf. This enabled us to scare off our enemies and protect our tribe. But one remains. So y'all know what time it is. Let's check out D ass on this action figure. Hey yo! Pause. I'm talking about detail, articulation, accessories, and size. Where's your mind at? Yo guys, from head to toe, the detail in the sculpting is amazing. It's great, I love it. Every accessory, every piece that comes with the figure is just, there's so much detail in individual pieces. I'm not lying, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. And then it's just not as far as the sculpting, the paint apps and the decos as well. It's like comprised of multiple colors, multiple different shades of gray and brown. There's some white, like just all around. This figure is honestly the best damn werewolf figure I have ever seen, held, played with in my entire life. Like no lie. I waited my whole life for a werewolf action figure just like this and this one did not disappoint. I'm not lying, my whole life, literally, from romance movies like Twilight to action movies like Underworld and Blade and whatever you think, Van Helsing, whatever you can imagine a werewolf and I've always wanted one and this one fulfills it all. It can be a part of all of that in every universe because it's so damn good. In 1996, guys, I had a Wolverine action figure that was like a monster version of wolverine it was by toy biz 1996 matter of fact hold up and here we go this is the same exact one that i had in 1996 this is him um i repainted him when i was a teenager just because that's how bad i wanted a werewolf i didn't want a wolverine i wanted a werewolf and <laughs> I finally got one now, you know, I love this one for all that he's been through. He's still he's still surviving and all his loose glory. But um, I, he, I can finally let him go now. I can finally put him to rest. And I think this is amazing for 1996. I think this is amazing. But um, there's obviously no comparison here. The detail is in every single accessory and it's on the figure. So I'm good. And when it comes to articulation, especially for his size and his sculpting detail, since a lot of it is soft plastic, none of it really gets in the way, this guy wins. Any pose, any werewolf pose that I could think of in my mind, I could basically get him into, including some not so werewolf poses. In terms of articulation, that's what I was worried about the most when it comes to this guy. One, because of his size, and then two, it looks like he has a good range of articulation, but being that you can basically take him apart, I wanted to know what parts would be loose 
during the swap when you put them back on just kit bashing figures in general usually figures that can be swapped out with other pieces um they tend to be a little bit looser or you know things aren't as snug as they should be and this guy for the most part everything is nice and tight on him and he can stand really well because of how big his paws are like his feet are huge and i like it it's part of the aesthetic but um it's very very helpful similar to the NECA gargoyles they have huge feet so it, it helps them stand up this guy i feel like stands even better than those guys it, it's just it was super easy for me to get him to stand i can't speak for everybody though i mean come on you could put him in a position where it looks like he's scratching his ear like a dog you know what i'm saying he's using his hind leg to scratch his ear and as far as him being loose he can hold himself up in a handstand i could get it on one arm but i'm doing everything on a rotating display stand while the figure is turning if i'm just gonna do dynamic poses on a flat hard surface that's super easy but to get him on a rotating display stand, I really thought I would have more issues even getting him to do a handstand, and I really didn't. Overall, he's just really good articulation-wise. As far as accessories are concerned, guys, I mean, come on, like, this is wild. I mean, online it says he comes with 22 accessories. I'm assuming that's if you have the figure complete, it's 22 other parts that come with a complete figure that does not <laughs> that's not speaking about how many pieces this guy actually is if you're taking them apart but even complete as you guys can see it still comes with a shit ton of accessories because the accessories allow you to basically make it into a whole other figure some companies would have released a werewolf just like this fully sculpted with clothes on these guys included enough accessories to make him an entire bear werewolf that's a big deal like to me that's what makes the figure i wanted a werewolf more than i want to have him dressed as a, a character like veteran william so i don't have any issues just popping parts on and popping parts off it did come with a warning label to heat the figure up i did heat mines up but even after the figure cooled off i'm still good to put the clothes on take them off and so for me even without having the figure be warm it's still easy to pop parts on and off and this thing says it comes with a comic book let's be honest this shit isn't a comic book this is like an entire trade this is equivalent american comic books are nowhere near as thick as this thing this thing comes with an entire full story mine is in another language but i'm just gonna look through it to enjoy the art because the art looks beautiful and the art has previews to future characters that they're going to do god damn that looks nice like these some of these characters the design on them look really nice especially like the female leopard and stuff like that i cannot wait hopefully they get around to doing those characters but guys anyways the point is it comes with an entire trade so that that alone right there is at least five bucks and i think it's pretty cool if you don't know the lore of the character and stuff and basically for me because i don't speak this language it's going to be a picture slideshow showing me some of william veteran's lore and i did say that every single accessory has its own great paint apps and great detail but look at this guys here's his shotgun bro the shells actually come out of the shotgun and as you guys can see the shells actually have some detail on them as well that is crazy and you just simply drop them back in and this is the same for the shells that are on his waistband you can remove those as well but you can see sculpting on both ends of the shells the back and the front that's pretty wild it's little things little details like this that take it over the top and his coat is a really soft plastic as well as the fur the big mane of fur that goes around his neck this way none of his articulation is really hindered by the jacket or his hair accessory that he comes with i think little things like that are pretty pretty well thought out and pretty good as well because other werewolf figures that i've had in the past usually they were really limited by the fur and the sculpting of the figure and that's really not present here Size. yo this guy stands in at about eight inches which is like the size of a builder figure but here he is next to some of my most common lines that i collect we got him next to sh figure arts gwen we got him next to gi joe classified spirit we got him next to a valiverse pandora and then we got him next to a marvel legends killmonger so all different lines and i like the way he scales with all of them this guy <laughs> i keep saying it i keep saying that this guy is badass but man like you guys seen since 1996 i wanted a really nice werewolf action figure and i finally have one i'm just happy my bad guys action figures just really make me happy i know that there's more to life in general but these little sculptures they're little masterpieces little works of arts they really do make me happy but anyways here he is next to a marvel legend venom who's around a similar size and then we have him next to the spider woman from the most recent uh spider-verse movie 
and I like his size compared to them. Here he is next to a Marvel Legends Ursa Major, as well as a Kit Bash Panther that I made. Um, I like his size here with these other animals as well. And then we have him next to an old school DC Mattel Builder figure King Shark. I believe this is part of the DC Multiverse line, as well as a NECA King Kong figure. Yo, we got companies like SH Figure Arts charging us $115 for half the amount of plastic with half the accessories. I don't like the $95 price tag, but at the end of the day, this is a much bigger figure. This guy's eight and a half inches. Legends is charging 60 or more for their builder figure, their deluxe figures. This guy to me is 1000% worth it. I'm not trying to sell nobody on shit. I am just happy that I spent a dumb amount of money to get this figure in as soon as I did and I wasn't disappointed. So he's on Big Bad for $95. I'm not telling you guys, hey, Big Bad link in the description below. No, other than the pennies that YouTube throws me for the ad revenue, like I'm, I'm not getting paid for this. I, I put so much work into these videos because I love action figures. And when I get a figure like this in that I really get to love, man it just it helps recharge me basically like sometimes i wonder what i'm doing it for and you know some people in the comments they remind me what i'm doing it for when they talk about how much they love my work and then action figures like this also remind me of what i'm doing it for this guy is amazing literally i have no issues with him i can't wait for the other ones to come in um this way i can paint them and i can have like a nice pack of wolves all together i'm just happy to be satisfied with an expensive figure because it sucks when we pay for an expensive figure and we're not even really satisfied with it and i just i feel a hundred percent satisfied here with what maestro union has given us like this shit is amazing i hope every figure that they do moving forward is this good or better let this guy set the bar but damn this is such a good figure man i can't wait to get more i would like to paint them this way i can have a pack of wolves all in different colors you guys can see just from the shots and he's strong like he's holding up action force figures with one arm and it's not loose it's not none of that stuff like this guy is built i love this figure man might be <laughs> honestly i'm thinking this is gonna be my number one figure for 2023 at least in this price range maybe i'll have another figure in like the 30 dollar or the 40 dollar down price range but in the 100 dollar price range i really don't see any other company giving us this much plastic at that price i just i don't see it it's just it's not happening lately like so i'm just super i'm, I'm happy with this figure guys thank you guys so much for watching comment down below let me know what you think about the figure honestly i want to know i know these mythical creatures like werewolves and stuff they're not everybody's cup of tea but for me they are man but mythic legions all these mythical characters and companies and this is a game changer like take notes on this this was a big deal literally it's a big figure i love this guy man yo i hope everybody's having a good day and like i always say life is short try to appreciate it more than you complain about it peace Toy photography and army buildings, all that I need is action, action figures. Toy photography and army buildings, all that I need, action, action figures. Don't buy me a thing, I told my girl that all that I need is action. Action figures Exclusives on my mind So I won't stop until that figure's mine And if you feel the same Hit like, subscribe and stick around for Action, action figures G.I. Joe classified Marvel Legends on my mind Malaverse in Necker time Mythic Legends I must find